I'm Mary Morrison. And I'm Chris Kane. We thank you for watching News Channel 6 at noon. And flooding around the CSRA and in parts of the Channel 6 viewing area will put many of you on watch. Now, one of those areas is downtown Augusta, and that is where we find WJBF News Channel 6's Renetta Debo. She's live there with what precautions you need to take. Chris, Mary, you know, the good news is the water has gone down a little bit, about a foot, but that does not mean that you should go in it. Now, I spoke with the river keeper earlier today, and uh, she tells me that, you know, see behind me, the river is moving pretty fast, which means that that can be dangerous. She says that there are logs and tree branches lurking underneath, so you definitely want to not get in there because it can be dangerous. There's also, right where I'm at, I'm near the edge, and that's another caution that people need to uh, look out for. You don't want to get too close to the edge because the flood could have compromised the banks. Now, there were about 18 homes that were impacted that we reported earlier uh, this week, and, um, you know, it's just a lot of water surrounding those homes, but not anything that's too dangerous. Again, folks need to look out for, you know, not getting in this fast, swift moving river because that can be dangerous. And again, you know, just pulling up, we saw a very large tree branch just kind of moving swiftly underneath the water. Again, very dangerous. People want to stay out of the water if at all possible. And, um, you know, just make sure that you check back with us, WJBF News Channel 6 later on. We'll have more information. You also want to check us out online just to stay abreast of what's going on out here. We're live in Augusta. Renata Dubose, WJBF News Channel 6.